Hey, my loves, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Chris Hanna, and if you're new here, then welcome, and if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be playing with the Essence Disney Princess Snow White Palette. So this has 14 shades. It only comes with two match, you guys, which I was really surprised with myself, but here is what the palette looks like. So yeah, if you guys want to see exactly how I use this palette and created this eye look, then go ahead and keep on watching. In today's video, we're going to be testing out the new Essence Princess eyeshadow palette. So this one is Snow White. So this comes with 14 colors. And I was looking at this, you guys, and the colors are beautiful, but there is only two matte shades, which would be this really light one and then this light one as well. So um, we're going to kind of see what we can create with it. I also, so I also got the Ariel palette as well from Essence. This does have a lot more mattes. I think it has like four, maybe five mattes. But since Snow White was my favorite Disney princess, this is one we are going to be doing today. But the Ariel one will definitely come shortly after. I'm hoping I can film this one maybe tomorrow. Because right now, I'm already on my second video for the day. So I don't think I'll be able to film another one. But hopefully, I can get the Ariel one up shortly after the Snow White one. So I've already got my lids primed and set. So we can go right in with the palette. So I was going to do two different looks on um, each eye. But I'm just going to do one look for today. So like I said, again, the palette does have 14 colors. It does come with a nice mirror. And I haven't ever tried anything from Essence other than their mascara. So I'm really not sure how their palettes work. So I'm first going to pick up this shade Pure Hearted. So it is the deeper matte shade. And I'm using this JH32 brush. So it is a nice blending brush. Why do I always want to say nice? It's just a blending brush. But for some reason, I always want to say nice. Um, let's go ahead and pop this right around the crease I'm just kind of being really light-handed at first just to see how the pigment and everything is so pigment seems to be pretty well you guys and it's building up really nicely let me know down below who your guys's favorite Disney princess was I would love to know because I feel like Cinderella is still talked about like a lot definitely more than the others so the color built up really really nicely I'm also going to take the shade Pure Hearted right on the outer V as well. So I'm going to take this creamy white shade called Forest Cabin. And I'm going to put this right under my brow bone. So the first shimmer shade I'm going to go into is going to be this shade called Greenwood. So it is like a light gold shade. And I'm going to pack this on about one half of my lid because I am going to leave the outer space for the deeper blue shade. Color picked up really nice on my brush. Oh, that is a beautiful shade. Seems very pigmented as well. So since Snow White is known for her red and blue dress, I have to use the blue in this palette. So I'm going to take the blue shade called Wicked Witch. We're going to see how this goes, you guys. I am going to pack this along the outer V. I think this is like in between a matte and a shimmer. It isn't like a full-blown shimmer, but it isn't like really matte either. Not as dark on the lid as it is in the pan because I was really worried that it was going to be too dark and not look right. Like, I'm definitely wishing right now that there was, like, a, you know, light matte blue shade. Just to kind of have something to blend this into. So far, you guys, I'm not, like, loving it. Um, I just feel like there's not enough mattes in here. If I was going to do something, I could have put blue, like, all over the lid and kind of smoked it out, which would have probably looked a lot better. But I'm going to go back into the shade Pure Hearted, the deeper shade. And this time I'm just going to take a smaller blending brush and just go right up above that blue. Just to see if we can't like blend it out. So on this fluffy brush, I'm going to go back into the blue shade. Just kind of see if I can't blend that out a little better. So now that I've gone back in with the blue with the more fluffy brush, it's actually blending out really nice. Oh, you guys, what are you guys thinking? I don't know. It's just really strange. I don't know. I 
like I was saying, I definitely should have just did the blue all over the lid and kind of made it more smoky. I'm going to go back into the greenwood shade that we used, so the gold one, and just apply some more of that. Okay, you guys, now I'm at the point where it's actually not looking horrible. So I'm going to take the silver shade called Seven Mountains, and I'm just going to use this just to kind of mesh the gold and the blue. Okay, so this definitely has more of a light blue undertone rather than silver. So I'm going to go back in with the deep blue on the outer V. All right, guys, so I feel like we're actually getting somewhere with this eye look. Now, I really don't know what I'm going to do for the bottom waterline because, again, there's, like, barely any mattes in here. I'm going to try to go into this shade Ebony and maybe try that for my inner corner. Okay, yeah, that's still a little bit too dark for the inner corner. So, for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go back into Pure Hearted and first just um, smoke this along the lower lash line. You guys, I have so much fallout. All right, guys, so here is what we are looking like. It's definitely not my favorite look, but it definitely screams Snow White, if you ask me. And that's what we're trying to do today. We're just playing around with different colors. Like, I'm not trying to make it super perfect, but I do have to say that the shimmers applied beautifully. Like, they were so smooth, so soft, so buttery, and so pigmented. But I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get some false lashes on and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Now let's go ahead and talk about this palette. So my final thoughts on this, I would give this a rating at 7 out of 10 stars. Don't get me wrong. The shimmer shade applied beautifully in the color story. It's all right. But for the lack of a mattes and I just feel like for Snow White, you see the red, the gold, and the blue. And there should have been a red shade in here. I would have loved to see even like a lighter blue matte shade or a darker blue matte shade. Just something to mix with that blue because as you guys can see, I just kind of threw it on the outer V of my lid, which I really don't like. And I, like I said earlier, I could have did it a different way and just did the whole lid that blue and then kind of smoked it out. Or like I said earlier, I could have just did the whole lid blue and then kind of smoked it out with the um, brownish grayish matte shade. But other than that, I really, really, really loved this gold shimmer shade and even the silver shimmer shade that we used. I think it applied beautifully. It was really buttery. I did get quite a bit of fallout, but other than that, the shade was really, really nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to play around with this a little bit more because there was still a lot of shades that I didn't get to use, and I definitely want to experience the full palette. I don't want to just base my opinion off using three or four shades. But yeah, overall, I am impressed like I wouldn't say it's like the best palette I ever tried but it's definitely not the worst um and for the first time ever using essence formula it's not bad like I did have a little bit of trouble blending out the blue but of course that's because it was a shimmer and the way I had laid it down but other than that like the matte shade I used that was really really nice but yeah hopefully in my next video I'll be reviewing the Ariel one because I feel like with this Ariel one there is one two three four, five. So there's five matte shades. And I feel like the color story all goes together. It's pretty much like browns and reds. Like I feel like it just pretty much goes a lot better together than the Snow White one. If you guys ended up liking this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have supported me through this journey. I couldn't thank you guys enough. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.